We're going to be looking at multiple step equations, two different types of scenarios, the first of which has variables on both sides. Look at this first example. Here we have 5x minus 1 equals 2x plus 3. Notice this time we have an x, a variable, on each side of the equal sign. Prior to this, it was always on one side. So what we're going to do first is get the variable to one side. It doesn't matter if you want the variable on the left or on the right, as long as you get the variable to one side. Uh, we're going to be doing the same exact thing we did before with our inverses, properties of, of equality, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and move this 2x over to the left side. So since this is a positive 2x, I'm going to subtract 2x from the right. I'm going to subtract 2x from the left. I put it right next to my x over here because I want to combine these like terms. Uh, so I have 5x minus 2x. That's going to give me 3x. Then I still have this minus 1 here, minus 1. Now my 2x's cancel, and I'm left with an equals 3. From here, notice I have my variable on one side now. Now I want to continue working until I get my variable by itself. So first I have this minus 1 attached to it. So let's go ahead and do the opposite of that, plus 1, plus 1. That's going to leave us with 3x equals 4. And uh, last, I'm going to give myself a little bit of room here. 3x equals 4. We want to uh, do the opposite of this 3 times x, which is going to be divide by 3, divide by 3. It's going to bring us to our answer. These 3's cancel, leaving us with x equals 4 divided by 3, or 4 thirds. Let's do one more quick one. Here we have negative 5 minus x equals 2x plus 1. Now, we could again get our variable to the left, or we could put our variable to the right. Because I like to avoid negatives when I can, I'm a very positive person. I, I notice here I have a negative x, here I have a 2x. Now if I subtract 2x over here, that's going to leave me with a negative. But if I add x to the right side, that's going to leave me with the positive. So my preference is to add the x over to the right. So I'm going to add x over here, add x on the right side. Again, you could have gone the other way around, but this is just the direction I chose to go. Uh, these x's are going to cancel. Now I've got my 2x plus x. That gives me 3x plus 1 on the right. And I'm left with this negative 5 on the left. So now that I have my variable on one side, I can proceed like I would in a two-step equation. I first have to get rid of this plus 1, so I'm going to subtract 1 from each side of the equal sign. That's going to leave me with a negative 6 equals 3x. Uh, let's give ourselves a little bit more room here. Negative 6 equals 3x. I'm going to go ahead and divide by 3, divide by 3. And I'm going to be left with x equals, those threes are going to cancel, negative 6 divided by 3, negative 2. All right, the second type of multiple step equation involves grouping symbols. And you'll notice, if you look at these examples here, that grouping symbols are nothing more than parentheses. So the first thing we want to do when we notice grouping symbols is get rid of them. So... Um, all we have to do to do that is distribute anything that is multiplying. And here we have 3 times parentheses x plus 2. So we're going to start by distributing this in. 3 times x is 3x. Plus 3 times 2 is 6. So we go plus 6 minus 1 is still here. Equals 5. The next thing you do right after you distribute is always check if you can combine like terms. Uh, here we have this 6 minus 1 those can combine to give us a 5. We'll still have this 3x in the front, and this is going to equal 5. Now notice here we have a basic two-step equation. So we want to start by getting this 3x by itself. So let's go ahead and subtract 5 from both sides. That's going to cancel our 5 here, leaving us with a 3x equals 5 minus 5 on the right is 0. 
Now we've got our one step equation, three times x. The inverse of that will be divide by three. So we divide by three to the left, divide by three to the right. That will cancel and we'll just be left with an x equals and zero divided by three. Zero divided by anything is always zero. So we have our answer. All right, let's hop back up here to our second example. Uh, notice this side has two different grouping symbols, one on each side. Does that matter? No. All we need to do is get rid of them. So let's start by distributing. We multiply this 2 times y, we get 2y minus 16 equals 5 times 2y is 10y, and then 5 times 1 is plus 5. All right, looking at my new equation, I have 2y minus 16 equals 10y plus 5. We've got variables on both sides. Let's go ahead and get our variable to one side. Again, because I like to remain positive, I see that if I subtract 10y from this side and subtract 10y from this side, I'll end up with a negative. So I'm going to choose to subtract 2y from this side and subtract 2y from the right as well. That will cancel that out, leaving me with just the negative 16 equals 8y. That's 10y minus 2y, 8y plus 5. Now we're back to our two-step equation. I want to get this 8y by itself. I'm going to start by using my subtraction property of equality, subtracting that 5 over to the left. That's going to leave me with a negative 21. Negative 16 minus 5 is negative 21. We still have this 8y on the right. Let's give ourselves just a little bit more space here. All right. Uh, we've got our 8 times y over here. The inverse of multiplication is division, so we'll divide 8 on the right, divide 8 on the left of the equal sign. Those are going to cancel. That's going to leave us with just our y over here equals negative 21 divided by 8. I'm going to go ahead and leave that as a fraction, and it does not look like we can simplify, so we have our answer y equals negative 21 over 8.